Good morning! I have been working on this video for the last two and a half months because I've taken more than well over a thousand shots with a bunch of different types of 22 LR ammo and we're gonna find out which is the most accurate. I'm really curious because I have three different precision 22 LR rifles with three different uh, chambering styles. And so we're gonna see just what's the best overall and we're gonna rank all the ammo from best to worst. You know, we're all gonna buy a bunch of 22 ammo throughout our lives and so in the next 10 minutes, I hope to finally answer the question, which is worth paying for and which isn't. Let's find out. All right, I made it to the range. First, we're gonna take the ammo that's not performing as well. The worst ammo in all of this testing probably doesn't surprise you but it is this Remington Thunderbolt ammo. Um, you really, if you have a 22 LR with Remington 22 Thunderbolt, you really have no need for a shotgun because this thing is just gonna <laughs> spray bullets all over the place. Now it's obviously, it's bulk ammo. This is something you just go shoot up out of a little 22 handgun when you're plinking or something. And for that purpose, it's perfectly fine. I'm glad to have any ammo this right about now. The second worst in the test really surprised me. Um, it was this CCI Target 22LR. I'm curious about this AR Tactical. I don't know if that's just some weird branding thing they did or if the, maybe this is built for a slightly different um, chambering design or something. I don't see anything else uh, like that on the box. But regardless, this ammo surprised me in not doing well and I usually do well with CCI ammo. So let's take those two and go shoot a couple groups. It's so fun to shoot one of these heavy V22 LRs with heavy bull barrel and a big old heavy chassis. Because when you pull the trigger, like you don't really even feel a vibration of the gun going off. You can see the actual lead of the bullet arcing down at 100 yards. It's just so fun to shoot if you're used to shooting, you know, larger center fire rifles. All right, here are the results. The top two targets, so this is shot with the Voodoo. This is shot with the CZ. The top two targets here are the CCI ammo, and the bottom two are the Remington Thunderbolt. As you can see, the Thunderbolt ammo is just <laughs> spewing stuff all over the paper. Huge groups. The CCI stuff, it really is decent, even though for whatever reason it hasn't done this well in this test, it's still a decent ammo. All right, let's finish out the bulk ammo. Now remember, we're using three different guns from three different manufacturers, and I've done over a thousand shots to get a good average. Surprisingly though, I didn't see anything in this bulk category that just really worked well with a particular gun and kind of pumped it up. Really all the bulk stuff just didn't perform as well. It's just not the gun that's the limiting factor, it's the ammo. So the next were the Federal Game Shock, Aguila Super Extra, and then the best of the bulk ammo that I got was this Federal Auto Match 22LR 40 grain. This was the very best bulk ammo you can get for a 22, tested with over a thousand rounds and three different rifles. I'm gonna spend a lot more on ammo than I'm gonna earn from YouTube ads for this video, so I'm hoping you guys will be willing to support this content. Targets have been driving me nuts. I used to buy these for the channel, but they easily get scratched up just by banging on stuff in the car, and they're really expensive if you shoot a lot. So I just went to Google and I thought, oh, okay, I'll just print out some targets. Well, so many of them are just not smartly designed. They have like this cross in the middle, which mirrors your reticle, so you can't really see the center aiming point. Or another common one, it'll have all this giant black blob, and so you can't really see your reticle in that. And so it was actually impacting my ability to shoot real accurately, just having a very well-designed target. So I made my own. I'm selling it as a PDF on backfire.tv for just a couple bucks, just to support the channel. You can buy it once. You can, even if you're on your mobile device, you can buy it, it'll email it to you so it's there and you'll have it the rest of your life. Anytime you wanna shoot, just press print on that PDF. You're gonna have a nice target and it's gonna save you a ton of money over time and really help this channel to really be able to exist because Google's demonetizing me left and right. Thanks. But now it's time to get to the good stuff. We're looking at match ammunition. 
Now I mentioned three different guns. I've strategically selected which guns I'm using to test this. They're all precision 22 LR rifles because obviously we you know, want a good gun that the gun isn't the limiting factor, but they also have three different chambering designs. For 22 LR, there are a lot of different slight variations on how they cut the chambering. The Voodoo uses Voodoo's Ravage chambering that's specifically designed for Lapua ammunition. The CZ457, I believe this one that I have is using a Sammy Sporting 22LR chamber, probably the most common. They do also make a version with a match chambering. And then I also have the Christensen Ranger. That one uses a Bintz chambering. It's between the Sammy Sporting and Sammy Match. And so with these three different chamber designs, I'm able to really get an idea of just what generally works best in 22 LR rifles. All right, let's get down to the match ammunition. The worst match ammunition in this test was this Ely match. That's not to say, however, that this is bad ammo. In fact, if you're just shooting one or two groups, you can't even tell a difference. I just shot the best ammo versus this, and you'll see the groups are really pretty similar. But on average, this was shooting about 25% larger groups than the best ammo in the test. Now for the mid-grade match ammunition, American Eagle surprisingly sneaked in there. This is cheap stuff and it did pretty well. This is from Federal, American Eagle. This did well in all three of the guns. But the best 22 LR ammo you can get is SK Plus Standard Velocity and Ely 10X and Lapua's Midas Plus. All of these did incredibly well, but not as well as the ultimate winner from this competition, over a thousand rounds shot, well over a thousand rounds, it's Lapua Center X. Now this stuff is pricey, just like all of these match grade options. But what I was surprised to see is all three of the guns, this was the best ammo for them, for all three. Um, and that really ran the gamut for most of them. I didn't see a lot of cases where, where one particular load did just way better in one gun and way worse in another. In general, they kind of tracked each other. Another cool thing that I did is this isn't just one lot. So with 22 LR, when we get to the higher end guns, you'll kind of do lot testing. You'll test several different lots or manufacturing runs of the ammo, see what shoots best in your gun, and then you'll just buy a whole ton of it, right? People even go down to the factory uh, at Lapua and see what stuff to get. But the interesting thing is I tried three different lot numbers for this and with several, not with all of the match ammo, but most of them I was able to get multiple lots so that we wouldn't get one that just happened to do well in a particular gun. But this Lapua Center X stuff, that is some crazy good ammunition. But as you can see from the worst ammo to the best ammo, you can kind of decide how much you want to spend and then you'll have that handy data that I've gathered to know which one will be the most accurate at your price point. Just a quick reminder to check out those targets, backfire.tv slash targets to support this content. And we'll see you in the next video.